Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas that I'm going to do a galaxy pour um, with the cloud effect because I'm going to use a, a white enamel paint along with my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and I'm going to be using some metallics too. So let's go over my paint. Um, the enamel I'm using is called High Gloss Easy Care um, Enamel. And I just got that at a local hardware store. And that is mixed about, I would say about two tablespoons to um, about four tablespoons of the Flow Acrylic, Artist Love Flow Acrylic White and um, then about two parts float trawl to that. I mixed a big cup up. My next color is going to be the Blick Rick Metallic Copper. And also with that, about 50-50, I added a new paint. It's from Rust-Oleum. It's called Rust-Oleum Metallics. And this one is called Copper Penny. And it's a very pretty color. So I'm excited to use some new paints today. My next paint is the Amsterdam uh, Greenish Blue. My next paint is uh, Blick Deep Violet. My next paint is a combination of Amsterdam yellowish green and I also added Deco Art Festive Green, the metallic to that. Just to give it a little shim shimmer on that. My last color is, again, I'm using the Meta rust -Oleum Metallic Accents, it's called. And this color is called Champagne. And I mixed that with the Liquitex Unbleached Titanium, just to lighten it up a little bit. And that is all my colors. I did add a dollop to all my colors of the Vallejo Pearl Medium. I just like the shimmer that this medium gives my paints. So all the paints got that. And basically my pouring medium is two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Squirt of GAC 800 was added to all the paints and also about a tablespoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. I will have all of that in the description. No silicone is added today. And I have my paints a little bit on the thicker side. And I'll show you. Just leaves a little mound and then disappears. Because I am going to do the, um, the galaxy pour, I, I want to try and leave my lines distinct. So I want the paint to be a little bit thicker. Now, I get my inspiration from Sarah Mack. That's Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, last name M-A-C-K. So if you get a chance, go to her channel and check her out. She does beautiful galaxy pours. And if I can get anywhere near the quality that she gets, I'll be, I'll be really happy. So let's get started with uh, layering my paints. And I will start with some of the, um, the enamel flow acrylic white combination. And then some of the copper. And this is that champagne unbleached titanium combination. Hopefully you're seeing this okay. Here's my blue. I just really love the shimmer that the Vallejo uh, Pearl Medium gives these paints. I'll put the green next. And 
And I'm going to add a little bit of the white before I add that, that violet color. Now I'm just going to repeat my layers. I'm going to use all this green up. And a little more of the white. And some of that violet. And I think I will end with the copper. Okay. set this off to the side for a minute. I'm going to add my puddle of my uh, enamel and Artist's Flow Acrylic White to get it started. Okay, and I'm just going to start pouring now. And I'm going back and forth like this to try and give it a, like a little finger effect on there. Okay. And I think I will torch it. Again, I didn't add any silicone here today.
and I am going to take the balance of my white and add it around the edge here and spread it out to help the paint move when I start tipping. There are a lot of really good artists out there that, that do this type of pour. It can be called the cloud effect pour or galaxy pour. For those of you that watch watch my videos pretty regularly, you'll notice that my setup is a little bit different here. Um, I was watching Kathleen Osmore of Cos Creations, and I noticed she had a tray that she that she paints over, and so I contacted her. Or, asked her what what it was and then she just said it was a it's it's a little tray that goes under a washing machine so I went to a, I went to a Menards which is you know a local big hardware chain here where we live and I picked one up and it's worked really well and what I do is I put um, freezer paper which I found is cheaper than the parchment paper. I have uh, freezer paper underneath. So if I do a pour and I have really good looking um, skins, they call them, I let them dry and then I give them to a local craft store because they have ladies there that do make jewelry out of them. I don't do that, but I've, I've seen it done and they can make some really beautiful necklaces and bracelets and what have you out of the skins. They're very happy to get those. Okay, I've got that covered really well. So I can start my tipping. The only thing I'm concerned with his I really love that copper on the edge here and I'm so afraid I'm going to lose it your colors that are on the edge are usually hard to keep we'll just see what happens here other than that I really like the how the lines turned out so far I'm going to bring it back to the center And you can take your time with this tipping. It doesn't have to be in a hurry at all. And I'm going to bring it back to the center again. Just going to take a little look at it here. And I'll try and get down here to this corner now. I'll try and save some of that copper there. Looks like I was able to bring it back to the center.
just trying to get my corner here. I may have to go over that again. And I really like the, these stripes down here, so I'm going to try and see if I can just get it over that corner and, and save those. Bring it back to the center. And I have one more corner here. And I will bring it back. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it right now. something in there that doesn't belong. Okay, I'm just going to tip a little bit more down to this corner. And bring that back. I'm going to also tip a little bit more of this off down, down in this area and bring that back. Okay, I'm just going to tip a little bit more down in this corner just to get it over the corner there a little bit better. And maybe even stretch out a little bit of what I have going on here. And I'm going to bring it back into the center. And I'm going to try and get it, just tip it down a little bit down into this far corner here. Just a little bit. Okay, bring it back. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to keep taking a look at it here. I'm going to torch it. See if I get some more cells up here. I'm going to try and do is just tip it a little bit down this way just to get a little bit more of that white off and stretch out what I have going on in the rest of the painting. Okay. 
Okay, and now I'm going to bring it back. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Yes, a lot happier. Very, very happy. And I'm going to clean the bottom off now. Of course, I'm going to fix up my sides here a little bit. get my corners I think I'm going to torch one more time and then I'll get you down for a close-up. And I will tell you the spots that I really like. see something right here to come out okay I'm gonna get you down for a close-up again this is a 14 by 14 inch galaxy pour and I'm very happy with the results the colors turned out beautiful And I will show you my favorite spots here. One of them being the upper left-hand corner. I just think those colors are beautiful in there. Just beautiful. You have some muted colors there and then some stronger, more distinct colors there. Down in here, so pretty. Very colorful down here also. This is the lower left-hand corner. And I'll take you up the middle here. I really like how the lines turned out here. And I'll take you over to the right corner. Here's the right corner, and I'm glad that I was able to keep a lot of these colors here. So pretty, like a rainbow. Pretty in here too. And this is the lower, the lower right-hand corner. And again, so glad I got to keep that corner like that. Okay, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.